Hello, I'm Claudia and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you a super simple, minimal, no frills December bullet journal layout. I use my bullet journal strictly for productivity, organization, and mindfulness, and this layout has really worked well for me for those purposes. I post minimalist bullet journal related content on this channel, so don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a video. All right, starting with the monthly log, since I have such unpredictable handwriting, I use stamps to make my header. As you'll see, I don't do any doodling or anything remotely artistic with my spreads because I like the uniform, simple look, but feel free to customize and tweak it all with stickers, colors, and anything else to spice up your spreads. What I'm providing you is simply my layout and a foundation for you to work off of. The only splash of color I have on these spreads are the monthly thematic color. And as the holiday season is approaching upon us, I have chosen a deep red for this month. Here I am doing a linear calendar. So one column is for the dates and the other column is for the days of the week. I really like linear calendars because they are easy on the eyes and it forces you to really think what you need to jot down due to limited space. And also I'm just too lazy to draw a grid calendar out. I also track two things, which are my YouTube video uploads as well as my intermittent fasting. On the next page, I have four sections, a monthly goals list, task list, a tarot card of the month, and a review section that I fill out at the end of the month. And this is what the monthly log looks like. Next is the monthly finances tracker. For the left side of the header, I write out December budget. On the right side, it is December expenses. So what I track in my finances spread is the income I received during the month. I record the date, where I got it from, and the amount. Next is bills. I track all the bills I need to pay each month, like rent, credit card, and other miscellaneous bills. Then it's savings. I enjoy tracking the various things I'm saving up for because it's really satisfying to see that after however much time has passed with all the saving I've done, I end up reaching the goal. Last but not least, I have a small section for notes. For expenses, I make a table that I record all the things I've purchased and spent money on that month. It can be quite dull to write out what you've spent money on, but when you write something out, it makes you seriously realize that, oh, I actually spent money on this? I have definitely cut back on coffee from cafes because I found myself repeatedly writing soy latte over and over again. And this is what my finances spread looks like. The next spread is clearly optional. I do tarot card readings for myself, so I like to make spreads designated to my new moon and full moon readings. It's a really simple layout, just a header and a dash of color so the spread isn't too plain. And this is what my moon reading spread looks like. Last but not least, the daily log. Here I use my mild liner marker to highlight all the headers in the spread. I don't usually do this as I would normally write out my daily log as I go about my day, but for the purposes of showing you in this video, this is how I will be doing it. First, I write the day and the date. Then it's gratitude where I write out three things I'm grateful for. Next is the to-do list. After that, I write out three wins of the day, so I list three things that went well that day. And finally, I have a section for me to brain dump. And this is what my daily log looks like. And yeah, that is all. Here is a flip through of my December bullet journal spread. Clearly, I like keeping things easy, quick to do, and no frills. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and subscribe for more. Take care and stay safe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.